Welcome back team. It's the first video since Bradford. Uh, it's a Monday night. I've had a, had a bit of a slow week last week. We had the trucking and done some work on it, but first time back, cars in from Bradford. It's looking a bit sorry for itself, but there she is, ladies and gentlemen, the British winner. Couldn't be happier with how the car went. At the weekend at Bradford, just, oh, it's still, it's still, uh, What's the words? Still sinking in after the after Bradford last week. So there she is. Look, twenty twenty four British Championship first place. Just yeah, awesome. Uh, still sinking in. So yeah, this is this is the state of the car after the, after Bradford. Um, my seeing Ray me at Ray's house in the last video. So what? Ray's hurt his leg, so we're wishing him the best at the minute. He's going to be, he's up and about, he's fine, there's nothing wrong with him. He's just hobbling about a bit and can't, can't obviously, I couldn't get to racing, which is really disappointing because he didn't get to Bradford for the British. But, uh, you know, he'll, he'll hopefully be back out or hopefully he can come Hennisford at the weekend uh, next week. So give him another week to recover. So hopefully Ray will be back with us next week to come, come Hennisford. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting him back on the on the road with us. So this is the state of the car. Wow, uh, she's a bit battered um, after the after Bradford. So we've got a fair share of uh, damage. This is the half shaft out of out the car. I don't know. Oh, you can actually see the bend in it there. Can I get, can I get, I think it's because it's on that thing there. If I put that on, you can sort of see. It's massively bent, that is. So that was from uh, the second heat. Yeah, a few scrapes and bruises, but, but she did the job. So what we what's the plans for the team in the future? That's got a dent in it, and I'm not sure where it came from. Um... Basically, so now we've done, we've won the British Championship, which is absolutely awesome news. Martin at Ford Race Wings is on with building two new wings, um, which Maxim Signs will then be stickering up. Um, so that's the next job. There's a bit of a war wound in the back panel there where Paul clipped it in the in the British. But apart from that, and my dad decided to jet wash half the stickers off the car as well. This probably wants lacquering really. You'll have to see if I can get that done. Um, other news, we've got a new partner for the team, which is, ooh, I've lost the sticker. Uh, ERS. So more information on that once I actually know a bit more about them and uh, massive thank you to Craig for coming on board. Okay, so next meeting is Hennisford on the 21st, which is not this Sunday, next Sunday, which obviously this video will come out after that anyway, probably, most likely. Um, so we are literally prepping. I'm going to prep this car um, for Bradford. So basically we're racing Hennisford on the 21st. The Thursday after that we're racing Skegness, and the Saturday we've got Bradford. So this car is going back out of Bradford, which is great news for us because we haven't got to change gears or anything. Just wants a little bit of um, little bit of fettling and um, some, um, and we'll be ready to go again. So, um, and then the tarmac car is still on the trailer from the carnival. So we've got to pull that in and modify the throttle linkage and get it ready to go to the rolling road next Tuesday. So. A lot to go. As per usual, there's always something to do. So I'm just going to prep some tyres tonight and probably rebuild some carbs ready for the rolling road. So we're going to get that all done and get on onwards and upwards. So yeah, let's get on with it. Firstly, we have hit 500 subscribers and a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel because I'm really we've been we've been teetering close to it for ages and that British has just fired us up over the edge of, the, of 500 subscribers. I think we're at 512 when I last looked. So thank you very much for everybody who watches the videos and, and has subscribed uh, to the channel. Um, 
I, just, I didn't think it would be that interesting when I made when I started making videos. It was mainly just for to try and show what we were doing in what we were doing every night when people asked me <laughs> why did you spend so much time up the yard. Um, thank you very much for everyone that subscribed. Thank, massive thank you to everyone that's come around and said thank you to said thank you. Massive thank you to everyone that said well done for the, for the British. It means a lot. Um, obviously, we've been everyone knows we've been chasing it a long time. So we're there now. We've, we've done it. I can't wait to get the roof on the car, see what it looks like, because it still hasn't sunk in. So we'll thank you to all the sponsors that support us, anyone that's been previous sponsors, uh, all the way up to the, the ones that are running on the car now. Thank you to everybody who's ever helped us and, and got us going on our way because, you know, we <laughs> would have never got here without, any, without the help we've had. Yeah, that's cool. Right, everything's done. Let's get on with it. Let's get moving with some work. Uh, I'm going to go and grab a drink, and then we're going to go and sort this out. So oh, more Superstar lights. Cost me a fortune in Superstar lights, ready for my new wings. So awesome. I will just give a quick shout out because he has he helped us just before Bradford gave us a helping hand, Jeff Floyd. Um, I've got to thank everyone anyway, but just thanks to him for, for sorting this out last week. Um, my dad's going to keep Ben busy with all the stickers that he's peeled off with the pressure washer. All we've got to do now is get these. So they've got tyres on the... Got tyres here all ready to... I'm just going to swap some of these over uh, onto different rims and then we'll be... We'll be on our way. Uh, that one's ready to go in it. So, yeah, awesome. <laughs> So that's it for night one. Uh, the car's over here, ready for, to be scaled, ready for next. So we've got all the measurements down for next Bradford. Um, I've just basically been tidying the workshop up tonight because it's been a tip for a while. Um, just cleaned all the benches up and sorted all that out. And I put a curtain up here to try and protect the tire area a bit from the rest of the workshop and sort all the tires out ready for the next three meetings because it's going to be Boom, 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 one after the other. So, so yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <whistles> Evening team. Uh, I mean, it's back on another busy night. So, we've got the truck apart again. So yeah, when we milk it, we've got a very bad leak here. And we couldn't do anything with it at the time because this V-clamp was uh, seized and we didn't want to break it, getting it off and not end up being able to use the truck for the last couple of weeks. So, uh, I pulled this off just after, when did we race last? Bradford. So I pulled it off just after Bradford. Um, unfortunately, we found this, instead of it being just a simple fix, it's this great crack here. This piece here from there to there is broken, which is part, as always, part of the, the top half, the inlet manifold, which you're meant to be able to take this piece off to be able to clean it out anyway. Um, but that is now not really salvageable. We'll probably be able to weld it up and grind it back and don't know whether we get a good seal on it or anything so i've managed to get old or milky managed to get old for me of another 
manifold it come attached to an engine but by the by so i'm going to get this off tonight and get this all tuned up hopefully get this back on so we've got another prop bearing on so jbs got me another prop bearing uh, i've got a new manifold so hopefully milk is going to come into the prop bearing because he's professional and it saves me doing it um, and i'm going to get this manifold off and see if i can sort this out so here goes another night of a house of fun. So there we are, here again. You feel like deja vu. Nice bit of second hand, Dave. Yeah. Oh, a bit close to your face there. You need a deeper. That's. <laughs> Oh well, onwards and upwards. That's eight days. It took me about three hours to get that off last time, and you've just done that in about 20 seconds. Right now. What is it now? No. <laughs> Still got to cut that out. Right, new that's prop bearing done. So, thanks for your help tonight, Dave. Yeah, no drama. Another late one, but just got to get the uh, boost pipes pressure tested. New, can't even see it in this light, but there's new new water edges on there as well. So, truck's getting a good bout of maintenance. Let's see what scene is on with with the uh, rest of the car. as long as the chassis don't go down. Yeah? It's, it's sat on the suspension there, isn't it? Yeah. So. Oh, I have to build one up on one of them other rooms then. Put an old one up. Put the old tyre. <laughs> Bit of Sunday work going on. Rear axles out, ready to uh, check for being straight um, so we get to do a little bit of maintenance on it this um, override where the damage was on this corner is all, all cut out ready my dad's been on with that today while I've been doing uh, doing Emma's car so I'll have to have the seat out and clean that up but yeah everything's on its way so I've got the um, Time out car outside. We're going to get that in on the trailer, ready to ready to go on its journey on uh, Tuesday night. So stuff's getting done. I'm making some good progress. Tuesday night then and we're uh, set and ready to take her to the rolling road so we're going to go and see if we can get a little bit more power out of her and see if she's a bit happier once we've done it.
you got there, Martin? Uh, I was going to think so. Always a scary experience that in this thing at over 6,000 RPM when it stood still. So we're just going to swap these cars and put a spare set on and get them set up so that we know they're right and then we're going to uh, give it another run. This is the downside, putting spare carbs on. Just trying to reset the flow types before we can get it running because this carb will flood in. So away we go. So there's the car all tucked away. Um, Rolling Rose sorted out for Hennisford this weekend. We didn't get the second car set of carbs done in the end because we had a problem with them and we're gonna have to sort that out before we can do before we can get them on the car and run them because one of the floats once won't work properly. But uh we're gonna get that sorted out and probably go back and sort it out. Um yeah, but all good. So we're all ready to go. Uh I've had a message tonight that the wings, the new wings will be ready tomorrow, so should be going down there to pick them up down there up there so we should be going up to ford race wings tomorrow to go and pick them up um ready to drop them off at maximum signs and hopefully can get them done for the weekend you better have enough black and white vinyl um yeah so pretty successful night massive thank you to colin at salva mini metro center for uh entertaining us for the night and sorting the sorting the carbs out um it's it feels a lot better already, so I can't wait to get it out on Sunday and see what it's like. Well, I know everyone keeps asking me in the comments for the last two videos. So the last two videos you've seen are from before the British. And these are the British wings. Although they won't be very British yet because they're basically just black. Um, British, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so. Put on with a bubble wrap, black and white. Oh, true. Plenty. So if we shorten that one to there, and you just got to join, join them all together, yeah. So we just then we can use this to make the bit up from the plug. No, well, no, we use the thicker stuff just because it's stronger. Because these wires are a bit flimsy, you see. Friday night before Hennisford Sunday. So I just um we've just got the car all finished up, done the brakes, done a few little bits, just the throttle linkage because the throttle was not quite right. Um we've got all the tires ready to go. So yeah, we're just waiting on wings. Um 
I spoke to Ben at about seven o'clock. It's about 20 to 10 at the minute. I spoke to Ben from Maxim Science at seven o'clock and he was sat in his office designing the British wing. So hopefully he'll have that done by tomorrow night, the Saturday. I hope I'm not playing Saturday rates, but all good stuff. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it here and we're going to go, I think we're going to get the truck out. Bring the truck around the other side now before we go home and come back tomorrow and load up. So, so it's eight o'clock Saturday night, and I've just just got the message off of Ben to say the off from Maxim to say the, the wings are ready. So we are just jumping in the pickup and heading over to Ben's to um, to go and pick them up. Okay, got it. Okay. we are we're just back from maxim signs uh just a massive thank you to ben for sorting these out he literally got off holiday at six o'clock yesterday morning he spent all night design redesigning the wing and then spent all day today doing this and i think it's come out brilliantly um it's just finally makes it real that we've uh Won the British Championship. So massive thank you to Ben at Maxim Signs. His uh, link is in the description below. So if you've got any sign writing needs, commercial vehicles, diggers, all that kind of stuff, stock cars, if you need him, give Ben a shout because as you can see, he'll kill it for you. So we're going to get the lights wired up on this and get this in the truck and then we can uh, get to Hennisford tomorrow. Just a massive thank you to Martin at Ford Race Wings for sorting the wings out. And um, massive thank you to everyone else for, for the continued support. And um, hopefully we can do him some justice tomorrow. Thank you, camera lady. <laughs> Here, riveting the lights on, and these lot around here eating cake. Donuts. Donuts. You like donuts. Not the here. Yeah, I'm not sure what's landed on the bonnet. Yeah.
So finally, the eye's bright. Uh, all loaded up and ready for for Hennis for tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.